Uh, my name's Elena Sigmund. Kevin Sherwood. Malouk. We're here to do a concert, I guess, and this is the first time they've ever met, so we wanted to see how that would work out. And seems, You're being too humble. Seems to be okay. There, there were all sorts of uh, choral arrangements made of Kevin's music, the music he has done for zombies, and uh, they're going to be performed by the Concordia University Choir, and we are here to uh, join in on, on the performance uh, from the work that, yeah. that we have done, and uh, the arrangements are sounding really cool. Yeah, it's going to be neat. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the religious school choir singing about, you know, death and destruction is an opportunity I couldn't miss, so here I am. <laughs> With Maluka, it's pretty funny because, you know, uh, I mean, we, we work remotely, you know. Um, she does, she records almost all of her stuff on her own. It's, uh, it makes it really easy, so, but usually I get IMs because, you know, I'm, I'm at my computer recording parts and the melodies to send to her and she's... Facebooking me back saying, this doesn't work. Wait, no, now I get it. Oh, this, this, this doesn't sound good. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> and it's like that the whole time. We were working, we're, he was trying to determine the pitch for always running. He's like, Maluka, try this out in this pitch. And I said, how do you feel? Oh, you know, it feels good. It's like at, at my limit. Let's not go any higher. When you write back and you're like, no, let's go a whole step higher. <laughs> yeah. When we did uh, Where Are We Going, I had to quickly write a melody when it's just a guitar or an instrument or a piano, it sounded so bland and I sent it to her and I figured, all right, let's listen to what it sounds like in voice and then we'll alter it from there. But when she sent it back, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> the difference of, you know, what it was, the guide track versus what it became. It was yeah. like, I don't even feel like I wrote that, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. <laughs> and with Elena, it's, it's been, you know, the, the figuring out the whole screaming thing. I mean, singing was not a problem. Like every time she would do doubles, we would have to check and see if we were hearing them. It was so perfect. Like it was perfectly in sync. The pitch was perfect. Even if the original was slightly off, she would double it perfectly. There was this whole thing that people were talking about that you had recorded a song and you had lost your voice forever. And oh, this yeah. song ruined you. There's all What's these mysterious that? rumors and so like, dispel you know, a myth. But you have not ruined your voice. No. Everything is good. No, everything's fine. <laughs> Although I love that there's urban legends about me. That's crazy. It's always a, a, a challenge to, to sing what you write because I think I think in different yeah. Term, yeah. terms completely. You create the most tense clusters of, of tensions yeah. and yeah. then you somehow magically resolve them. <laughs> Go for like the ugliest thing I've yeah. ever heard to the most beautiful yeah. and peaceful. Right. Right. The whole zombie theme is just, you know, juxtaposition, you know, like nice sounding girls versus, you know, death and mutilation and cannibalism <laughs> pretty much is what the song is about. I know the direction when I hear it, but, you know, I know 75% of where we're going when we get in there and mm. the rest of it I just have to hope we can figure out in time. Because, I mean, deadlines are what write those yeah, songs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the song process <laughs> is, uh, it, it goes basically in my head, I'm thinking there's no way we're going to finish this and I can't do this, I should have gone to business school. <laughs> But then she hits something just right, and I'm like, this is amazing. Yep, we did it. This is going to work. Uh -huh. yeah. 